back, so today's day 32 of the Daily Arithmetic Challenge. Okay. So on your screen are the first six questions. We are starting a new paper today, so we're actually looking at the first few ones from um, the beginning of the paper. Uh, and then there are a couple more on the next slide, ten in total, and when you've had a go at doing all of them, um, it press play and we will go through the answers together. Time to go through the answers. 18 multiplied by 6. The first one, nice and simple, 18 multiplied by 6. You could have done this two ways. You could have either done this with the method that you can see on the screen now, or you could have partitioned it and done 8 times 6 and 10 times 6, and then add the numbers together. Number two, you've got a very, very similar question, except it's now a three-digit number by a one-digit. So again, you could have partitioned it, or you could have just done this method, which is quicker, um, which is 710. Number three, you've got 1,005 subtract 100. Um, this one, you could have done this one in your head, definitely, but if you're not too confident with exchanging across values, do it with a method, which is 905. Number four, we've got 5.7 subtract 0.1. For this one, definitely um, just make sure that your decimal points are in the same place and also in your answer, which is 5.6. Number 5, we've got 6,673 add 794. So again, this one definitely use a method for, don't try to do this one in your head because it involves XJ, sorry, carrying over across values. Number 6, um, straightforward subtraction, you definitely could have done that one in your head. Again, decimal points in the same place and I have popped a zero after the six as a placeholder so that I knew that there was no value there, which was important because I've actually had to exchange from the next value across. Number eight, seven times nine, straightforward, just do your multiplication, which is 63. Number nine, we've got seven tenths, subtract one tenth, which is straightforward um, because you have um, the denominators that are already the same. And then number 10, which is 7 times 3 times 6. So 7 times 3 is 21, and 21 times 6 is 126.